So I went to my creator studio because I wanted this video's thumbnail to be the exact same thing as the video where I reviewed the first Footy Files thumbnail. But apparently, if we have a quick um, search for, for nope, I gotta put files because we did all that stuff. I never actually reviewed the first one, which is weird. the The thumbnail I was thinking about was the one for the survival logbook. I don't know why I never reviewed the first Freddy Files. It was, it was really, really good. So I have no thumbnail to go off of. So I just did my own thing. But we're not here to talk about the thumbnail for the entire time because I now have. Oh god, it's under my headphones. The updated edition of the Freddy Files featuring the one and only Scrap Baby on the cover. It's kind of hard to show you guys this because there's a glare from the window. Now, I want to say something right off the bat because I know loads of people are going to be upset when I don't show all the pages. I won't be showing any pages. Or well, I'll show some pages. But I'm not going to show you everything. I can't... I, I'm not supposed to show you any pages in the first place because the... The book's not out yet, it comes out tomorrow, but I got it early. It was at it was at my Barnes & Noble, which is kind of weird. But yeah, I got it one day early, it releases tomorrow. There's a link down in the description for you guys to go buy it. So I can't show you that many pages, but I will show you a few. One I want to start off with right off the bat. The first one, and probably the most important photo in the book. This buckaroo right here. Yep, that is... The teaser for the next Five Nights at Freddy's project. Oh my god, I'm super blurry. And then, of course, this is the cover. Again, it's kind of hard to show you guys because there's a glare from my window because it's a nice day outside. Up top, it says Freddy Files, uh, FNAF, Freddy Files Updated Edition. It has Scrap Baby in the middle. And at the bottom, it has the updated official guidebook to the best selling video game series. And it has a few pictures. And all in all, it basically is the exact same cover of the previous one right there, but just updated. The back adds a little at the top saying the best-selling official guidebook to the Five Nights at Freddy's is now updated with 64 pages of new content exploring Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator and Ultimate Custom Night. It doesn't say it here, but it also does cover a little bit about the survival logbook, that one, and the original Freddy Files, that one. Contents is also updated with Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Simulator and Ultimate Custom Night added in. And by the way, everything on FNAF 1 through this location is the exact same thing. They haven't changed a single thing about it. Um, they only added FNAF 6 and Ultimate Custom Night, Fourth Closet, and the Survival Logbook to this book. Everything else before it is the exact same as the original one right there. They just added in some new, um, new information about the new releases. Chapter 6 is where the um, Footy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator section begins, and as you can see, it has the artwork from the title screen, and it really just, I don't know, it just fits in this book, you know? All the other artwork from the previous chapters, let me see if I can find one quickly, I'm on this location, oh god, I went past it, now I'm on FNAF 4, sorry. It just fits um, the rest of the book, it suits it very, very well, you know? That's FNAF 4, I can show you guys that because that is already out in the first book right there, which I guess I'll leave a link to buy it um, if you missed the first one. And then it also has artwork for the start of Ultimate Custom Night right here. It's not really artwork, um, now that I say that, it is just the level select, not level select, that's help wanted. It is the, um, the grid with all the characters on it set to 50-20 mode. Which, there's no artwork, I guess that makes sense, because Ultimate Custom Night is just a mashup of all the other games, but it also kind of suits the game. Here's the animatronics inventory section for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Ray Simulator. As you can see, we have Molten Freddy, Scrap Trap, Scrap Baby, and Lefty, all of which have a pretty decent amount of information for them. You know, description, what price they're at in the game, what night you can salvage them on. It's pretty informational. And here's a little bit of gameplay and strategies for Ultimate Custom Night. This is only two pages. There are a few more about the um, strategies and gameplay of Custom Night, because again, it's got a lot of controls. So, you know, it takes up a few pages, but that is just two pages. And for some pages, it even shows you all the challenges and what the characters are set to on that challenge. It shows you all the characters on it and what they're set to, like I just said. And it does that for all 16 challenges in Custom Night. 
Now there's a reason why I wanted to get this book early, um, not just because I wanted to show you guys this as soon as possible, because it is a very, very interesting book and can be very, very helpful so, um, for some players struggling with FNAF, but also because of this. Again, I'm probably not supposed to be showing this, but as you can see right there, my finger's in the way a little bit, there are actually some fan-made models of the characters. I don't know if you can really see it, such as Trash and the Gang down there. There's also, you know, Rockstar Chica, and um, Nightmare Bonnie, Freddy, and Bonnie, Frontime Foxy, all those guys. Those are all fan-made models that were put into this book on accident by Scholastic. And as weird as that sounds, I actually wanted to have them in here because they're gonna get rid of that soon. And so I've got, I've technically got an OG copy of this book, which is pretty cool. It is kind of annoying that I don't have the actual models in there, but like I said, you know, OG. And as you can see, it goes on to talk about the fourth clause. I've done some information on that. And it talks about the survival logbook a bit. It's kind of blurry, but you guys can hopefully read that. Can it not be blurry, please? Please? Ah, whatever. Well, as you can see, it talks about the logbook. And, again, very informational. I already showed you guys, but there he is again. I've actually already done a video talking about that version of Springtrap. So if you missed that, you know, it's, it's, uh, up there icon. Boom. Go watch that. That is all I'm allowed to say for the updated edition of the Freddy Files. Amazing. I love it. It is a little bit annoying that the majority of this book is already talked about in the Freddy Files right there, but getting more information on new releases for FNAF, really, really helpful. It is actually very, very helpful. It may not sound like it, but trust me, guys, if you're having difficulty with FNAF, or if you just want to know more about how the game is made and the characters in the games, I definitely recommend buying these two books. Very informational. That's it for this review right here. I love it. Fantastic book. Highly, highly recommend it. And hopefully, you guys are going to be able to get it tomorrow. So thank everyone so much for watching. Like I said, links down below to buy the first book and the updated, updated edition of the book. So thank everyone so much for watching. And I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.